Hello, this is Gary from Pixami, and I'm here with a walkthrough of all the new features in Yearbook Pro for the 24 to 25 season. This is not a complete demonstration. It's more of a walkthrough of the highlights of the new stuff. And I'm going to assume that if you're watching this, uh, you're at least a Yearbook Pro user or have some pretty decent knowledge of the software. I will have a complete demonstration for this season up here pretty soon on the YouTube channel. Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the landing login page uh, for a particular school and when I log into Pixami the first thing I see is the dashboard or the activity page nothing has really changed on this page at all you'll see a color shift uh, a little bit more muted colors overall and a little more colorful overall interface in yearbook pro all the way through this year some new icons and stuff like that but nothing dramatic down here on the support box on the bottom of the activity page is our first huge new feature, and that is the curriculum. If we click on this, the curriculum opens in a new tab in the Pixami knowledge base and contains nine different lessons, everything an advisor needs to successfully learn your book, but also teach a complete yearbook class. The curriculum was developed by Katie Moreno of Organized Advisor. She's a professional advisor and consults other advisors. Lessons have videos, handouts, worksheets, and tie into Pixami specific materials as well. We've been uh, talking about doing this for quite a while, and I'm pretty excited. I'd love to get input from people on it. And so just an idea of what one of the lessons looks like, you know, here's yearbook layout design, and this is a 25 minute video. It's got a couple of different documents, supporting documents, worksheets that go along with, and that's typical of what most of the lessons look like. I think this is going to be hugely popular with Pixami advisors, and I expect that it's going to be a big competitive advantage for Pixami customers as well. And that's an introduction to the new curriculum. I encourage you to go to the knowledge base and go take a look at it. It is right at the top of the advisor area that you can reach from the bottom of the homepage. While we're on the dashboard, I'll just point out the face matching is not turned on in the software. When it is, I have a complete coverage report. A number of times a student was used in the book, pages used and so forth. I can organize and sort print reports, PDF and things like that. We'll switch to the photos tab now and we'll talk a little bit more about face matching. This summer, we did two major things. We greatly enhanced the performance of tagging images. The second thing we did was we turned it off by default and gave schools the opportunity to enable face matching at the right time. Okay, and so the first thing I'm going to show you is how face matching now gets enabled. And that happens at the end of a portrait import. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk through a couple quick steps on a portrait import. I have an index file right in here ready to go. Next, I'll do my mapping real quick. Now is the final step to a portrait import. I have the option of whether or not I want to use face matching. Face matching is a great technology for automatically tagging students and the candidates based on the portraits that are uploaded, but you can choose whether or not you want to use it. If you don't want to use face matching, you can click don't use face matching. The window will close and you can go ahead and continue with your portraits. If you'd like to use face matching going forward, you click here. That enables the face matching engine and sets your status to running, okay? The message here now says face matching has been enabled. Face matching will tag your candidates within 48 hours and periodically thereafter check the status in the caption and tag dialog in Manage Photos. And we'll go take a look at that next. What's happening now is your portraits have been placed into a face matching queue. And we expect that within 48 hours, all of your candidates will start being tagged. From there on, your candidates will be tagged regularly after they come in. This 48 hours is dependent on the amount of activity and we feel it's pretty conservative. We'll be watching this closely. Next, I'll show you where you can see the status on the candidates tab.
And now on the Candids tab, as Candids become tagged, you'll start to see face matching icons appear here. When you click on a face matching icon, it'll bring up this caption and tag dialog with additional information at the top. Just like last year, you'll be able to identify the student with their portrait over here and make changes. At the top, you'll always see the current status. Once it's run, you'll see that it's run. You'll see when it's run last and so forth. You can always add manual tags here, add additional students to add manual tags for anybody that's not been tagged. And then down below, you can type in a caption here. This caption also comes in when parents upload or any other contributors upload photos through photo post. And then later on can be combined with the tagging information to create great captions. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. Okay, so this is the caption tag interface, and I will do a complete demonstration on face matching with live face match photos when we do our complete demo. Next up on the candidates page, if you look over here on the left, you notice it's a little bit different. We have multiple categories available now, up to three uh, levels of subcategory. If you look at sports right here, I have sports, and then I have volleyball, and then I have uh, boys or girls, for example. And so you can create all of these folders up to three levels under the new folder dialog. And then you have just a lot more options for organization this year for Candids. And that goes along with art. We'll look at that more in a little bit. When you upload your own art, your own clip art this year, you can upload it in multiple levels of category, but also right inside or around all the new Pixami categories that we'll get to in a few minutes. Okay, so that will be a change on the art tab that we'll see. Next, we'll come back over here to the ladder. I'm going to find my student life section here, and we'll click edit just to launch in there. Not much uh, change on the ladder here uh, this year. Maybe a couple little tweaks here and there. On the editing page is where we have the majority of the rest of the features on the list. And I'll start over here on the left. We've renamed a few features over here that you should notice probably right away if you're a current Pixami user. Themes have been renamed styles. They're still the same. Styles are intended to be used by a novice designer, a volunteer parent, or somebody that needs to get, you know, a yearbook done that looks very nice and with a reasonable amount of time. That's what styles are all about. Nothing's changed there. Templates have always been the building blocks of styles, okay? So if you take templates and you take clip art and elements, you add those together and that creates these style designs, okay? So those will always be here. We'll continue to add to them. But what we've also done this time is reworked all of the templates. And the templates are available in a number of different yearbook categories. So we've got academics, you know, we've got clubs, we've got student life, we've got sports. In addition, to hundreds of different uh, portrait layouts built in, uh, collages. And let's go ahead and take a look at student lives. And then we'll go ahead and drag a couple of these onto the page. Okay, they're all on a grid and all the way through, and they all use a common color scheme. Okay, and so these are intended to be building blocks to your own styles. Okay, so I'll show you a couple things I can do with this. For example, I can change the color on any object here. So I'll come in and I'll click on fill. Another thing I can do with Pixami that I'll bring right up here that really comes into play with templates is I can create my own color palette, okay? And I can save this all the way through my book. And so if I wanna change that standard Pixami color to something out of my palette, I can go ahead and do that right here. And I can also click apply to all, okay? So that'll change the whole color look of this whole page. And then maybe I'll select a couple of these and I can come in and change the transparency, okay? And make this page a little more layered. We'll come over uh, to candidates and we'll just autofill just to get a little better look to our page. See how easy that is. Also note, candidates over here, you see again, all of the levels of organization that are available. Okay, we'll move through to one more page. Kind of take a couple more out of the student life category. And make just another change from my color palette, but maybe a different color. Okay, just to give you a feel for how that works. And I don't have any candidates here, but I'll just flow the same ones again. Okay, so that's how that works.
So now would be a good time to look at art. You'll notice that the clip art tab is no longer here. We actually renamed elements to art, but then we also added the ability to support unlimited categories, and we filled those categories with 10,000 new pieces of art. Most of the old, old elements, the design elements, are still in here under the design elements category. Most of the all, uh, all of the clip art is gone, and everything here is new. Okay, and there are a lot and a lot of different categories. There's an art guide that goes along with this. Okay, and you can download that from the knowledge base. All the old design elements are under design elements and lots and lots and lots of new design elements are here. Okay, so I'll just take a design element, drag it onto my page. I can grab it, move it around. And then maybe give it a color out of my color palette here. As with styles, everything in a template is fully customizable. So you can completely make it your own. Once you've started to develop your pages, created some spreads you really like, integrated your color scheme, your style, decided on the art that you want to use, you can start to save your own templates. Click the Save Template button up here. This was formerly uh, Save Layout. When you save your own templates, you can create a new category. Okay, so for example, I'll put all my favorites in here. Okay, and I can save, I'll save the entire spread, and sure, I'll save the text with it, and click OK. Now what I've got down here on my templates, under my 2025 faves, is the spread. If I move on to the next page, I can drag this spread. And again, I've got a great starting point that I can continue with. It's got my color scheme and so forth. I can modify and go forward. Using the templates and the art this way, developing standard yearbook sections on the ladder, and then developing your own pages with the Pixami art, and saving your custom templates along the way, which, by the way, uh, are available to you year after year after year. That's a more mature, advanced way to use the Pixami software is the direction that we're headed uh, with Yearbook Pro, and it is directly supported by the lessons that you'll see in the curriculum this year. We'll see more templates going forward. There are hundreds of them right now, uh, new ones in addition to what we had in there last year. Again, with all the standard yearbook sections, there's about 50 ready-made styles in here. Styles are organized by elementary, high school, and middle school with a designer's recommendation available right here on the page. Uh, there will be more styles coming out this year uh, with their own guide as well. The next thing we'll look at as a follow-up to the caption tag interface we looked at on the photos page is a new caption dialog here. You can see the quotation mark icon here. Click on that and you get the caption photo. At the top, again, when face matching has started running, you'll see uh, auto tag names show up in this list. Down below will be manually tag names that you have copied. And then caption is any information that's been added to the photo along the way. Okay, the auto tagged names can be sorted automatically in order here and then copied down into the caption field. Manually tagged names can also be copied where you can develop a caption here for your photo. Okay, so that's the new caption interface. One more thing we'll look at before we get out of the editor. If you didn't notice yet, up here at the top, we have zoom in and out. And so we can zoom in uh, substantially more than we could previously in Pixami. Everything works at every zoom level and likewise zoom out. And that's the last new feature on the editing page. Again, lots of little subtleties, minor uh, feature changes, bug fixes, and tweaks, always this time of year. I'll go ahead and save out of here. And we're going to come back to the sales page to look at the last set of features here. Okay. On the sales page, you can see that I have an active storefront for the site. I'll go ahead and click it, and we'll just come over to that site. This is the new storefront page accessible directly uh, for advisors from within Yearbook Pro. And this is the page that you direct the parents to. 
to order their yearbook as well as ads. I've got three different yearbook types uh, turned on here. You can see that we've got a little bit of a UI update. It is much more integrated into Yearbook Pro, the software in terms of look and feel. This is your brand and school's brand or whatever logo comes over from Yearbook Pro here. Uh, site's been reorganized, so all your account management information is here. I can manage you know, my, my address and so forth. Uh, I can see all my order history, my, my uh, projects I can uh, reprint and continue working on here and so forth. This box down here is all of the information that you're able to customize now. We change it dramatically, we simplified it. It's got a much better, cleaner look. Another thing we did on the storefront down at the bottom here, we copied the support box. So your, your information from Yearbook Pro for support also gets copied here. And so your parents have a direct place that they can call while they're placing an order. One more thing you can see here, we'll take a look at the hardcover, $89.99, but it's $79.98 until September 30th. You can now set tiered pricing. Uh, for any product, yearbooks or ads independently, and you can set up to three price changes on the calendar, and you can preset it in the cart, and you can flow it um, out to your schools, okay? So that's another new feature there. You'll see that on the storefront uh, page on the admin, right where you set your pricing and due dates right now. Another thing that we can do on hardcover yearbooks right now when I place an order, three different inter uh, independent types of personalization, all with independent pricing on the back end. And again, this is on the pricing page on the storefront. Um, do you want to add personalization for five bucks more? Uh, this is name personalization, this is icon, and this is photo. I can choose name only if I want to and so forth. And that will get added to my cart. That information will get delivered to you with the order. One of the things you learn from the advisor curriculum from the organized advisor is it's really important to develop your theme early on. Use it, promote it, use it to sell your book. One of the things that we did this year is allowed you to actually push your cover and your theme design out in front of your parents in your cart anytime that you want to. So if I come in here to my cover, for example, and I mark it complete, okay, and then one final safety check by an advisor only to mark it reviewed, Come back to the shopping cart page, do a quick refresh. You'll see now I have my actual cover here for sale in the cart. Again, great way to promote your theme. However, change your theme, change your mind, come back to the Yearbook Pro software, reject the cover again to make your changes. Refresh, and it pulls that cover preview back out of the cart to the standard generic preview. And with that, I think that about covers it for the new features in the 24 to 25 release. As always, there's lots of uh, little things, little bug fixes, little feature and behavior tweaks, most of it based on your input. We appreciate all of our customers out there. We hope you like this release and look forward to your feedback. This is Gary Wood. My email is right here on the screen, gwood at pixami.com. I am sales and marketing, uh, Pixami support, support at pixami.com. As always, you can reach directly out to your yearbook provider. Uh, thanks very much. Stay tuned for more videos and have a great season.